Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Black Jade from the House of Lubin. I'm very excited to review this classic She Pray For You. If you love spicy, intoxicating, warm, and mature fragrances, I think you're really going to enjoy this particular scent. So if you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep watching. For transparency purposes, I actually got this fragrance in a swap. It was not sent to me to review, and it is definitely something that I would purchase. It is a fragrance I've loved for a very long time. So I'm going to try and hope and pray that I don't knock this over, because <laughs> I have a tendency to uh, knock things over. I'm going to center it a little better. There we go. I am very clumsy. So... This way you guys can see the bottles. A lot of people have been asking for ways for you guys to actually look at the bottles because you're tired of looking at my silly face. Anyway, there's a lot of lore behind Black Jade. The lore has a lot to do with the fact that this could possibly be Marie Antoinette's personal fragrance created just for her that she carried around with her in a jade vial. I think that if you were to close your eyes and smell the scent, the scent is worthy of a queen. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Very classic, very elegant, intoxicating, seductive, but there's a spicy sexiness to this fragrance as well. Now this is a floral chypre. It has all the perfect characteristics of this, but what I really like about this fragrance is the aromatic spices of cinnamon and cardamom and the rose. Now this fragrance, I wouldn't say is a rose dominant scent. There are other florals, woods, and different aromatics at play here, but I think that those three specific notes really make this fragrance special. And rather than dissecting this fragrance note by note by note, we're really only gonna be focusing on those three. Now, what I like about this scent is it's a beautiful, kind of well-blended balance between spice, spicy, peppery, and flowers. And it's really easy for one of those to overpower the other. And as much as I love a good, crazy, spicy fragrance and also a beautifully peppery rose, I like seeing things that are in perfect balance and harmony that come to create something really beautiful, timeless, and effortless. And I think Black Jade is that. It's an effortlessly chic, mature, sophisticated fragrance that has an allure of these beautiful exotic spices and the romantic rose. Now, the best thing about this fragrance is how it plays on the skin because those spices, specifically the cardamom, come out and they smell very sexy and enticing. And the rose comes out and it smells very bold and romantic. But then you have the notes of tonka bean and sandalwood, patchouli, other florals like jasmine, and it just it just comes to together, together to create a really beautiful symphony. Is this the type of fragrance that a queen would wear? I think so. I think it's beautiful enough. It's special enough. It's effortlessly mature and sophisticated enough. Because I think that when you think about how royalty, how the top tier would smell, it's not just about smelling opulent. It's also about smelling attractive. <laughs> And the thing is, is you might want to drench yourself in some of these spices or some of these smells that show that you're rich, that show you have money, that show you have class, but you also want to make sure that you yourself enjoy the smell. You want people to be attracted to it, not repulsed by it. And there's a certain amount of opulence when it comes down to the specific uh, spices and rose and the other ingredients in this fragrance that smell like something a queen would wear and want but when you actually smell it it's beautiful attractive and seductive so it's not just showcasing very opulent ingredients it's also showcasing them in a way that is attractive and to me very complimentary in a way that you might have a lot of very expensive fabric and you're not going to throw it together in a dress that doesn't look good on you, you're gonna throw it together in a dress using designers and seamstresses to create a beautiful dress that complements you. And that's what this fragrance is. It's not just a bunch of great ingredients mixed together. It's done in a very complementary way, blended just perfectly to create something elegant and timeless and almost attention grabbing. That cardamom and cinnamon really grabs your attention. And so I can imagine a rich, beautiful queen walking by her court and this attracting the attention of suitors. It just smells sexy and enticing. 
but at the same time there's a very natural almost organic elegance to this fragrance it's one of those fragrances that you can just smell over and over and over again and not get enough of because you pick up a little bit spice here a little bit of tonka there some florals here or a whiff of rose it constantly keeps you coming back and wanting to smell it again and again i can definitely see how a beautiful young queen would want to smell sexy and enticing, but also smell elegant and sophisticated. And that's what this fragrance is. It's beautiful. And this is the type of sheep prey as well. This is the type of complex fragrance that could be worn by anybody, man or woman, and also depending on wherever you live. It is complex and beautiful and has depth and nuances to it, but it's not so heavy to get lost in heat and humidity, and it's not so light to be completely smothered by cold weather. This is a beautifully elegant, mature fragrance that you could wear day or night, any time of the year, and I think that's what makes this such a classic. It is so easy to wear, but it also smells so just profound and charming. I really enjoy it. I find myself really gravitating towards spicy fragrances, especially spicy florals, especially spices like cardamom. It's just a way I love to smell. I think it's beautiful. I think it's exotic. I think it's opulent. I think it's mature. And I also just think that it just smells really good on me too. It's hard to really say why Black Jade is as beautiful as it is because you might look at other fragrances that have close to the same composition, but I also think a lot of it has to do with the cinnamon and the cardamom specifically. So I've talked about this before where I talk about warm spices and cool spices in regards to how they smell or how they play on your palate. If you have something with a lot of cinnamon in it, it almost is spicy or hot. That's why you see like red hots, which are cinnamon, but they're spicy. And then you have things like cardamom and coriander or thyme or basil, which are more of a cool feeling, cold feeling spice and aromatic softness and sweetness and coolness. And when it plays with fragrances, let's look at like vanilla. You have some fragrances that might have coriander or thyme, and then it smells like a cold vanilla. And then you have with maybe amber and tonka or cinnamon, and it smells almost like a warm, comforting uh, vanilla. And what I like about Black Jade is the fact that it has two very strong, conflicting, hot and cold aromatics, cinnamon and cardamom. And it just comes together and it balances out everything so well. And I think that it's just the right amount of cinnamon, just the right amount of cardamom blended together beautifully with a gorgeous rose and some beautiful woods and aromatics in there. And it's just beautifully, correctly. So that is my review of Black Jade from the House of Lou Ben. It is a beautifully mature, sophisticated, elegant, sexy, enticing, intoxicating fragrance. I'm using all those descriptives here. You can tell I really mean business when I break out the thesaurus. The thesaurus, there we go. Yeah, I need to pronunciate better as you guys know. But aside from my horrible pronunciation, this is a beautiful fragrance, it really is. And if you like spicy florals, but you're looking for something that's soft, elegant, mature, and sophisticated, check out Black Jade from the House of Lou Ben. It is astounding. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have tried this fragrance, I would love to know what you guys think. Do you agree with my praise or do you disagree? Let me know what you think in the comment section below and recommend other amazing fragrances from this house or other gorgeous spicy florals. I'm always looking to add new fragrances to my collection. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!